Parachuting from planes, rappelling from helicopters. It looks like a scene from a major disaster as smoke rises in the air and people lay bloodied on the ground. But I'm going to check again, make sure that you're not bleeding anywhere, okay? Oh. But it's not. It's the Royal Canadian Air Force and 442 Transport and Rescue Squadron conducting a search and rescue training exercise. We're running a, a little exercise here. We've got 14 casualties uh, that have just been in a plane crash, simulated plane crash, and uh, two SARTECs have just been parachuted in, and they're working right away on some of the uh, casualties. RCAF averages 1,100 missions a year within Canada. They train every day along with 442 Squadron. Two, three. And this week-long exercise will be the first time this year members have trained outside of the Comox area. It's important that members of 442 Squadron come to an area like Kelowna. Uh, there's a lot of aviation that occurs in and around Kelowna. And certainly this is an area within the Victoria Search and Rescue Region, as it's called, which encompasses the Yukon and British Columbia, where they can be expected to respond to an aviation crash. The exercise will also serve as a training opportunity for local emergency crews in the Okanagan, as well as the Kelowna International Airport, where the event takes place. People that are involved here, the fire department, the, the police, the ambulance, uh, have never worked with us before. We've never worked with them, and, and so we're learning, and when it's done, we'll have a good chat about how everything went. and. Uh, and hopefully everybody walks away with a lot more knowledge. A good scenario for our guys, uh, very, um, the process happens very quickly uh, and of course it can be overwhelming. There's only four search and rescue personnel um, as responders arrived with uh, um, 13 people and as it turned out actually 14 people on the ground here uh, with some of them with very critical injuries. The Kelowna Flying Club donated their facility as the base for the exercise. He's not had a tetanus shot. His name is Irving Peters. Okay. As well as their members to play the roles of the victims for the plane crash scenario. Jen Zielinski in Kelowna for Castanet News.